So a bat is a Black Hawk air crew trainer. The bat actually enables real pilots to get real flight hours, uh, simulator flight hours, to maintain their uh, flight readiness. Normally, if you were trying to train a pilot, you would put them in an aircraft, and that's fuel, that's wear and tear on the aircraft, and also danger. So some things you don't want to really try in a $20 million helicopter when you can come in here and you can be, uh, make things second nature to you. We also, uh, we want to make sure we're current with the field, so there is no delay of, okay, they updated the aircraft, now we have to wait. We can just go in here and pop a thumb drive in, update it, and they're ready to train. Well, it's very effective, all right? So you can do night vision, instrument training. Um, a lot of the pilots, before they have to go out and recertify on a particular uh, item, uh, they come in and they practice on the bat. Also, we have all these different trains that go with the bat. So if you know you're uh, gonna have to fly in Afghanistan, we can bring up Afghanistan terrain. We also have uh, landings, uh, practice landings on uh, ships. So you have the carriers uh, and a frigate that they can practice uh, sea operations where they can land on those. The cockpit actually comes from, for, for all of the BAT-Ms, comes from an actual helicopter. So that what they do is they cut the actual cockpit off, they ship it over to us, we make any repairs that they have, that, that need to happen. The seats actually press against you and you can feel these bumps. You can feel those all those uh, uh, physical cues that, that real pilots actually need to feel whenever they're, they're, they're doing their training. What we use is a Mylar screen. Uh, I think it's like 65 degrees up and down to the 160 uh, uh, from left to right. Very fragile, but very light. If you go to a lot of simulators that have the same type of mirrored uh, a collimated screen, uh, there'll be big mirrors, heavy mirrors, like you know, hundreds of pounds and very expensive mirrors. This whole uh, mirror, like the Mylar sheet, much cheaper than a huge, and it's not as heavy as a huge mirror. So these things can be transported uh, quite easily. This device that we're currently in, e Engineering Unit 1, became a net device at first. So this actual simulator's been moved around quite a bit. I'm also part of the fielding team. So we go out and uh, set up the device, uh, make sure it's fully operational. Then we train the pilots, and then we turn around and uh, we train the maintainers. So if they want to move one, we would probably send the team up there, take it apart, and ship it, which it comes in two halves, so it's not really difficult. It takes about a day to take, a, take it apart, then transport is probably the longest part of getting a bat to where it's supposed to be. But really, our job here, what the bat does, is keeps the warfighter ready to go and fight and keeps them safe while we're doing it.